Welcome to Anthony's Cross Thread Garage. Uh, today we're going to we're going to get down the boring road of working on this car again and trying to get it right. The uh, carburetor is still leaking. I made a gasket that leaked. Bought a gasket that leaked. I uh, bought another half-ass carb rebuild kit. Going to try to put accelerator pump gasket, accelerator pump. Uh, Another gasket on the bowl, try to fool with the needle and seat on the floats and try to get this carburetor to quit freaking leaking so we can actually drive it. Uh, I got wheel cylinders I need to put on the back, more brakes. Also, got some exhaust I like to get welded on here. I like to want this thing on the ground today. So, if anything, I get those wheel cylinders done, if the carburetor is still in the right, at least we'll have to get this thing on the ground, have brakes, and do something with it because I got to get my Studebaker in here because we're getting ready to do big work on it. All right, you already see I already get the bowl off. We got some RTV to put around it. I can dip shit. I'll try to seal that up, and all I did was eat up and fall apart. I'm going to try to do this inside the car because the only thing I got to do is take this out, and the float bowl's already in my hand. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna scratch it. I'm not gonna leave that in there to do this. On second thought, I'll just take this carb off. I don't want to lose pieces down into the engine bay. There's some type of little BB or something that has to go in it. So I'm not gonna force you guys to watch that again. So let me get it off here real quick. So here we are back on the bench. Our carburetor. Got stuff in here for the accelerator pump. So I'm pretty sure it's frozen or the spring's bad. This thing keeps pouring fuel out. So I'll go ahead and I uh, get all kinds of different pieces in here. I don't know what all I got. I want to start tearing into it. I must have redid the flute valve. This looks way better than this thing. Right here's the accelerator pump. Let's go ahead and take it out. Is that a new one? No. This is old carburetor from 1966. 1966? Yeah! Yes! One went over Oh lord. Ready to be psychodom? I'm surprised this thing was running at all. Here's the old accelerator pump. Here's the new one. I still gotta get the old gasket out of the, this one here. It's very lightly to clean this up with a little brush here. Then take it over to the parts washer. I don't do much talking because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's why I ain't talking. We really didn't run that bad before other than leaking all over the damn place. We had a high idle and everything. Basically, I'm just replacing the porch in there, all these dry rod porch. I think my biggest thing will help with that is this float bowl valve. Didn't look very good. I don't think it was sealing much anymore. I think the bowl is getting ever full. Came with two different style accelerator pumps, but this is the one this one has. All right, so I got my accelerator pump back in. It's all one unit. I had to hold it all together. It was a freaking pain. Uh, this is interesting to me. The uh, 
fluke valve is way different than the old one. Uh, I'm assuming it just was done. Maybe that was my problem all along. So get the flute bowl put back together here. The only problem is my flute bowl screws feel like they're stripped out. <laughs> That's great. I don't know what's going on there. I'll try to lose the washers off of them. Like the threads came out of the bowl. That's great. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, I went in with no washers, so hopefully they don't fall out. So, I barely saved the flute bowl here. Now. Let's see if I can get this seal in here and hopefully this thing is good to go and seals up. I'm going to put this flip bowl on here. I'm not going to bore you with that. Get it back on the car, fire it up, see what it looks like. I'll bring you back in then. Now, I'll we'll get the carburetor about back on. I don't want to replace the battery terminal, battery cable for you. Any further. As you can see, she's a, uh, oh, she's junk. Got this new one, local parts store, just put on. And then we'll start trying to crank it and see if we got a leak. If we got a leak, I don't know. Might just get mad and quit today. We'll see here. Still really need to get the rear brakes working. I think I can get to the starter right here. It's not way underneath of it. You know, one of those lines where the heroes back in the day, they're easy to work on for the working man. New fuel lakes. Is this start? What? I mean, he starts up right now. All right. Finally fixed that fuel leak. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll keep on going. I got a gloss pipe here and those rear brakes to bleed. Right now, I'm going to do something fun. I'm just going to change my little horn here. What? This old horn out of there. One bolt horn on if I can get it out. There we go. There's an old horn, it's pretty sweet. Here's a new horn. Get these off eBay for nothing, so. Let's try to put them on. Got this for like eight bucks for two of these on eBay. See if they even work. They're not eBay, the other website. I'm back here on the back now. I'm gonna try to sneak that thing out of there, but this flange is in the way. Now, without doing any type of research at all, 
or known anything about this old style stuff. I want to try something to get it off here without taking the brakes clear apart to get that out. If that doesn't work, I guess take a brake clear apart and get it out. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, I guess that part is a problem for I don't know if I should just pull this off or take it apart. We're going to get medieval on this son of a gun and just start beating the crap out of it. Try this. Let's just go ahead and tear it clear up. There she is. Well, I guess we'll do that on the other side too. That's easier than carrying this junk apart. Just like a full wheeler spline, or I guess a full wheeler is just like this. There, there's my wheel cylinder. My first one. Yeah. And it's absolutely trash like the other one. This. So let's put whole fluid in there, not crust. That came off with a bang. Here's my new one. I got plenty of room to access that. It's got a wood drift key here in the bottom to line it back up. So I'll get this installed and get my brakes all tightened back up. And Everything put back together here, and then I'll do the other side. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Well, I got news. All the brakes are blown. Got a good brake pedal now. She should be ready to drive down the road other than this exhaust, except. Ugh. Ah! 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 All the hours just spent cleaning this fuel tank. I said, man, this brake, I must have got brake fitting tight. It must be dripping. No, the fuel tank's dripping right underneath there. It's got a pinhole in it from the inside. So that's wonderful. It's depressing. But oh well, whatever. I guess we'll deal with that here after a while. Maybe we'll run it until it's out of fuel and then try to do some type of Mickey Mouse patch on it because there is no, there's none, no, none. Maybe rebuilt ones, $400. There's no fuel tanks. Unless I just go ahead and put a fuel cell in it like I didn't want to, but I might have to because that's the only choice I got. So, I'm gonna get moving away from the back right now. We'll put the tires and stuff on here a little bit, but right now it's good to go do a tune-up on this. All this stuff was on sale at Rock Auto because I'm sure it's like the fuel tank. Get ready to get this continued. I don't know how bad this really needs this. I don't know if this wires don't look great, but it was cheap. I need an old AC Delco stuff too, except for the button. Rosie, why did you put a hole in my gas tank? Why did you put a hole in my gas tank? Someone did. I think it was rust. Since I don't know the firing order on this, I want Johnny Cash the uh, the wires. I don't know how you guys. 
I don't know how you guys take your spark plugs out, but this is how I take mine out because I'm from all my experience from dealership and you gotta go. These look pretty decent actually. Um, decent little rich, rusted. Little blow by. Right. New one in. first wire. Let's take and size it up. Let me put some dielectrical grease in them. That's in. Tune up's done. I wanna do that! Oh. Yeah, that's why I wanna do that fuel tank. Yeah, she does. All right, well, I gotta tidy this up and get my air breather on. That's what I'm gonna do to you. Go ahead and We're finishing it up here. See if it ever heats or not. Clean it up. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody clean up. Our new air filter. We got a special guest, not so well dressed on you today. Yeah, not so well dressed. Not so well dressed. Come and get the hood back on this thing, so maybe I can get to do a burnout. Catch it on fire, because the fuel tank's leaking. Woo! You know what that means now. Fuel cell. Pretty much. Fuel cell, buddy. I don't know, I'm going to get some of that gas stop leak or something. <laughs> it's on, I mean, it's just a pen, it's just dripping. I'm like, he's got to be kidding me. Can we weld it? I'll weld it. Well, if the water was coming out of it when I was cleaning the son of a bitch, I would have welded it. Yeah. Convert it to electric. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't I can't put that on there. I can't even say that. That'd be a hate speech. <laughs> It's gonna line up perfect. <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be really close on my side. I'm gonna be honest. I open this thing. You remember? I even open it. It's not here. I don't know. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
There she is, screwed on her own power. See if I can talk to kids and go for a ride. smoking a little bit. All right, well, let's try to get fired back up here and make it back to the house, all right? Yeah. Okay. But if it doesn't fire back up, we're going to have to walk to, we're going to have to walk to the house. Yep. Yeah, and then not see the Lambert. Here, land tomorrow push it we, forward, bud. Just like that. tomorrow we get the lamb, Lambert, if it, <coughs> let's see if it disappears. Think we'll make it, Rosie? Nope. Run, she's good. Good enough for now. And the new pronouncer is me. Alright, got her first test drive in the book. Here she is sitting in all of her glory. Side so Stuart Baker. Transmission's leaking much sure if the vents were clogged or what. I mean, but she's pushing out fluid. It might just still be low too. But it's building pressure enough to build push out the dipstick. Uh, the brakes work good. Search and runs good. Really happy with what I accomplished today, other than find that fuel tank leaking. We're gonna start on the uh, Stuart Baker because it runs fine. So let's go and tear it apart and make it a mess. All right, till next time, guys. This is the end of our video. Bye. Watch again. Yeah, yeah. Give, give us a like, subscribe, please. Yeah, yeah, buffet. Take me home. Thank you. Count the road.